here is the nice sustain pedal um, which comes out into a jack connector which I've plugged into the headphone socket um, <clears throat> so so the way the way that I sort of worked out how this works is I'm, I'm gonna put it on resistance you want to connect one end to the tip and one end to the sleeve is that working? oh there we go <coughs> um, so <coughs> so basically this is a this is a sort of variable resistance uh, foot pedal so what happens is it's got uh, this is about 25 yeah, 25.2k ohms of resistance uh, and you push it down and basically as you push the pedal down the resistance decreases all the way down to sort of like you know if we turn this down um, it becomes sort of you know 300 and or so ohms um, so if we if we apply some voltage to that and see what happens to the voltage which I will do now so we've applied 5 volts to it and we've got uh, you know 4.88 then we push this down the resistance decreases and it goes up to about 5 so the voltage range we've just had isn't very big so what we can do is we can measure the output um, from in the middle of a potential divider so basically the sustain pedal is a, res is a variable resistor um, which is about 25k when it's off and 350 ohms when it's fully pressed so if we put another resistor in series with that and then measure the voltage output from the middle we can basically make the voltage range we get at the output much bigger um, so if we use a 10k resistor then um, basically the the equation is is R2 which will be which will be the resistor that we choose and R1 is a sustain pedal uh, and we measure from V out in the middle so if we do R2 which is 10 over R1 plus R2 so that's 10 over 35 um, that means that roughly 28% of the voltage will be present at V out so that means that when the pedal isn't pressed then there'll be 1.4 volts at the output um, and that's because most of the voltage is being dropped over R1 which is which is the pedal um, however when the pedal is fully pressed obviously the resistance of R1 has gone down gone down a lot um, so that's basically like the 350 ohms is, is negligible really it's it's 10k over 10.35k um, which is 96% of the of the input voltage so when the pedal is fully pressed we'll get 4.8 volts on the output uh, and this gives us a really nice range of voltages to measure because the Arduino represents not 5 volts as 0 to 1023 um, so I think it's like 0.49 millivolts per you know per increment of that of that number so there's that's plenty of detail for for what we need because we're essentially just using this as a switch that's made made the gap from sort of you know 4.8 volts to to 5 volts to to you know a massive difference um, a massive difference in voltage depending on depending on how much um, the pedals